In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use global variables within our site. So one of the first things we need to do is actually create a PHP file called global variables. Sometimes they're referred to as super globals, and that's because they can be seen anywhere within the site if you include this page. So let's start a new file. So we'll be starting with global variables, PHP. Now within this page, we're actually going to start with our PHP command and also close the tag. A variable is a container or a briefcase that can hold important data. And when we're creating global variables, this data needs to be used on multiple pages. So one of the first global variables we're going to create is what's called the site title. To clear a variable, we define it with a dollar sign and then we can give it its name. So whenever we want to get the site title, we just use this variable dollar sign site underscore title. Now I'm using the naming convention of pothole case where everything is lowercase. All spaces have an underscore. Now it's good to be verbose with your variable names because this makes your code a lot easier to read, especially if you're using it for assessment items for any courses that you may be doing. So what we want to place in the quotes here is the name of the site. So it could be So it could be Marsden PHP programming course. And like with all PHP lines of code, we need to conclude with a semicolon to end the statement. Another one we might use is developer. This way, if we ever change the developer or on sell the site, we can change the name of the person that is managing the site. Also, if we do sell the website to another company, they can easily come in and change the site title and this will be replicated through every page that belongs to this site. So once again, it gives us a central point of update and a central point of management. So in this case here, I'm gonna place my name. Now another one you could actually have is GST. Now GST in Australia is 10%. So we could actually put 10 and we can store that in our global variables and therefore, if GST ever changes to say 12%, all we have to do is change that to 12 and every calculation that is related with GST would be automatically updated. Therefore, we don't have to go locate each page and make that adjustment. So I'm just gonna leave that back at 10. Now it's also a good idea to actually place some comments within your website. So I'm gonna put things in here such as So we can put in global variables. And we can add other comments like goods and services tax so we know what GST stands for. So once we've done this, we can save this. If we execute this page, we will not see any output on a web page. But what we'd like to do now is actually include that into our web page. You can see from a previous tutorial, we actually have a title. We also have a footer in here and we've got our developer here. So let's have a look at using our site variables to update this. To do that, we're gonna first of all, go to our index.php. At the moment we have echo www.lmarsden.com and what we wanna do is actually change that to our variable. Now to do that, we wanna echo out the variable. So all we need to do is echo dollar sign site title now to access site title what we need to do much the same as what we did here include footer we actually need to include global variables so we need to go to the top open up our php tag and use the word include and then we can identify the file so in this case it's going to be global underscore variables dot php then we can place a semicolon at the end of the statement and close our php tag so this will include these variables into our index.php then we can actually access the site underscore title we can echo this out and therefore it should actually echo out marsden 
let's put apostrophe s in here and save that marsden's php programming course so let's have a look at our page now what i'll do now is refresh the page and you can see that the page has been updated to marsden's php programming course if we want to add some more html to that page we can always come in and add things such as a h1 tag and turn off the h1 tag and you can now see the title on the page now if we would like to change bart simpson over to the correct developer what we need to do is head into our footer page again we need to move this down and place the includes at the top of the page so once again we're going to include the php globals into our footer page then we want to be able to access the variable for the developer so once again we need to open up our php Then we need to echo to output, and then we can use the dollar sign and developer, and then close our PHP tag. So we'll save this, go back and refresh the page, and you see the developer is updated. Now using this method allows us to keep information stored in one central location for easy updating and management. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful PHP programming tutorials.